بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Welcome to the G4 Quran class. Uh, today is the 15th class and we will inshallah look into some revisions including Hamza Mutaharik on Wow and Ya. Um, I'm your day teacher for today and I'll be assisted by the support teacher and the teaching assistant. Uh, before we start our lesson, could I please request those students who are signed in with an incorrect ID to log back in with the ID that was assigned to you by the course administrator. Um, unfortunately, those locked in with the wrong ID will be put in the waiting room, which will affect your attendance and hence your final grade too. So <clears throat> I can still see a few participants um, with their name. So I would like you to re-enter with the correct ID. So and now we will move on to our lesson for today. Uh, one of the most common errors in the recitation um, is that we tend to pause in the middle of a word or phrase due to correction or shortness of breath. Um, this is wrong and should be avoided. Uh, during the recitation, if that happens, we should go back to the beginning of the phrase and start from where the context makes sense. Uh, let's have a little practice on um, long words and check whether uh, we can recite them in one go. Uh, could I please request the support teacher to unmute a student to have a practice, please? I will unmute L256. Okay, Jazakallah. L256, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, thank you. All right, so let's have a bit of a practice um, reciting these words and phrases here. If you would like to write the box, please. Okay. Um, Bismillah, Hirman, Rahim. Shall we start with Davos? Okay, I'm sorry. Audhu billahi mina shaitan irrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Fa, fa, sorry. Fa, ah, sorry, I'll start again. Fa, asqayna Yes, well done. It's just the far at the beginning. Um, you have prolonged that for two seconds. Shall we make it only for one count because it's a simple fatha? So let's try doing this one again, just for one second for the first fatha, the second fatha as well. It's just for one second each, uh, connecting to scene. But as I, so let's start this one again. Fa Good, well done. And you didn't stop in between as well. That's brilliant. Let's have a look on the second word if you would like to recite this one as well, please. Bimuzazi he he sorry, that yeah. just went really badly. You want to try again? Bimuzazi he he Okay. So on the first ha, we have a uh, sukun, so we have to um, connect on. Okay, shall I try again? Yes, please. Bimuzazi hi hi. Yes, so that's uh, much better now. Um, we need to connect and then we have um, the distinguished sounds between the first ha and the second ha. So the first one, uh, these two, let me just hold on, let me just get away with the highlight. This ha and this ha will be pronounced from the throat, whereas the last one is a simple ha. So it's not pronounced from the throat. Uh, so it will be, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Bimuzahzihihi, hi. Okay, thank you. I mean, that you make it sound so easy. I'll, I'll try again. Do you mind? Yes, of course. Yeah. Bimuzazihi. 
Yes, it, I, I can hear it. It's coming now. It's much better. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, again, we need to connect because we've got a sukoon. And then um, only one second on Z, he, and then he, two seconds, as you've pronounced as well. Well done. Okay. Um, Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Okay. Can we have uh, another student now, please? Yes, I will need L258. Okay, Jazakallah. L258, Assalamu Alaikum. L258, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? Yeah, fine, Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good too. Would you like to um, uh, recite the third box, please? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Yastabashiruna Okay, well done. Um, can you please tell me the rules in this phrase that you need to pay attention at? How many rules of uh, the Dweet do we have in this phrase? Mm, I think there are two rules. Uh huh. And we want calcula, bias calcula. Here we've got calcula. Okay. And haruful mat. We have um, like the ra before the vowel. Um, yeah, not the ra before the vowel. It's the dhamma before the dhamma. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, well done. What do you do then when the mother appears before the vowel? This is the two seconds rule. Exactly. Well done. Really good. Perfect. Would you like to recite the next box as well, please? Yeah. Yes. So could you please also tell me the rules that you had to pay attention at whilst reciting this, please? Okay. So the first one is I leave with a vertical footer for two seconds. Then we have um, Yalin. Yeah. Uh, and then we have again Haruful Mat. And the last one is the Noon Mushaddad, where we have to stretch it like for two seconds. Exactly. Brilliant. Would you like to recite this box again, please? Yes. Brilliant. Really good. Could you please recite the next box as well? Hujuri. Mm -hmm. Good, well done. Tarozaitum. Okay, could you please tell me the rules that you have to pay attention at in this one? Yeah, it's um, again Yalin, and I think I pronounced the Ra like a little bit shorter than I should. Yeah, yeah. So, how uh, after Ra? It there is a alif, so I should have pronounced it for two seconds. Uh huh. Okay. How would you pronounce the raw, however? Uh, with a tick sound. Why is that? Why is that a sound? Um, I just know it's a tick sound. So if uh, on ra is a dhamma or fata, you should pronounce it a little bit thicker. That's correct. Exactly. How about this raw? Would we pronounce this one with a thick sound as well? Uh, no, only fata and dama. Okay, good. This one with, a thin this one is, um, with a thin sound, with a yeah, much thinner because we uh, have a kasra under the raw. Well done, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll okay, Jazakallah. Jazakallah. We'll move on. Um, just a second, let me scroll down. Right, brilliant. Uh, now let's have a look um, at the Mutahari Kamza, which literally is sitting above Vau or Ya. Um, Vau and Ya, in this case, um, act like a chair for the Hamza Mutaharik. Uh, so um, 
we the Huns are basically acting like a person sitting on the chair actually so we don't pronounce the chair vowel or ya uh, we can imagine it by saying that a chair doesn't speak but a person does so we do read the Hamza Mutaharik basically the Hamza with a um, with a harkat so basically with a thumma or with a fata um, but please note that we shouldn't prolong the Hamza sound for more than one second, even if it's on the letter of elongation, because as I said, in this case, uh, we'll ignore the vowel and ya all together and read the mutahari Hamza instead. Um, also, please note that if the mutahari Hamza appears on vowel, uh, its stroke will either be dhamma or dhambin, and on ya, it will be any stroke. So even if the mutahari kamza, for example, has a stroke of tamma and is sitting on the vowel, it will not be prolonged for two seconds, but only for one second, uh, because we ignore the letter of elongation vowel altogether. Uh, let's have a little practice on these few examples. Could I please request uh, the support teacher to unmute the student, please? Yes, I'll unmute L257. Okay, L257, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum, Ramtula. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. How are you? Good too. And would you like to recite the first box, please? Indeed. A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim <clears throat> Ibadihil Ulama Brilliant. Can you also tell me the rules that you had to pay attention at whilst reciting this? It's uh, first one is the uh, we have to stop for one uh, one dot like um, I'm not very good with the uh, the rules at the moment, but I know how to pronounce the words. All right, okay. So when you said one pound, are you referring to the kasra or are you referring to the pata here? No, kasra, kasra. Oh. Because we yeah. have to prolong the bar because there is a blank alif with it. Uh, you have to prolong the bar for how many seconds, you, you mean? Just two, two, two. All right. Second. I mean, that's a haruful mud here, because yeah. The perfata. Okay. Okay. I see. Yes. Uh, what do you do with this alif? Do we not pronounce this one? No, we don't have to. Why do we not pronounce it? Because I can see the alif here, and yeah. I think we should recite it. Why do you think we shouldn't be reciting this one? Mm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I know it's a simple. I know it's a simple rule because um, um, I didn't attend my class two weeks class because I was I was not very well. But oh, I know I you, have. Uh, sorry. So you didn't attend last Monday. No, I didn't. I didn't because I was not very well because my asthma was uh, giving me some troubles. No problem. So basically, this is a blank alif, and in that case, because we've got a mutaharik a letter before the alif, and then we've got a, a letter with a sakon, so we would connect, ignoring the blank alif in between, basically. So that's the rule of the blank alif. And you can obviously mm -hmm. go back to the previous lessons and uh, listen to them and revise through the worksheets on the website as well. That's okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you, uh, sorry, not written. You've recited really well, actually, on the ma as well, prolonging it really long because we've got the uh, big ma here as well. And u, of course, because we are not pronouncing the vowel, we are ignoring it all completely, but we are um, noticing that we have a hamza above the vowel, and we obviously then, of course, do pronounce the hamza. Really well done. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Uh, could we now have um, another student, please? Um, I have an end with L272. L272, Assalamu alaikum. 
Yes, really good. Are there any uh, rules that you have to pay attention here when reciting this word? Uh, is Madija is Munfusil? It's not Munfusil. It's not Madi Munfusil. Yeah. Uh, it's a big mud, yeah. A big mud, yeah. And um, it's a vertical fata as well. We've got another vertical fata here as well. So how would you pr uh, pronounce this little bit here, this part? How would you do this? Uh, you have to make it uh, four to five stroke long. Yeah, I would rather say five seconds because mud de so the short term mud, would be um, four seconds. So I would rather give it five to six seconds here for the mud de um, for the big mud. Um, also, another thing that you need to pay attention here. Um, because I. Yes, what's with the I? I know we have to make it uh, from throat. Exactly. So we need to make sure that we do uh, distinguish between the sound of the I and the Hamza here. So a uh, sound here and I sound on the previous letter. Exactly. Okay. Brilliant. Really good. And would you like to recite the next box as well, please? Nabi. Okay. So, are you pronouncing the Ya or are you pronouncing the Hamza? I'm pronouncing Ya. Uh, sorry, I have to pronounce that. Exactly. So, you have to, no, you have to pronounce I'm... Hamza. Hamza, yeah. Right. Uh, recite that again. And the B. Exactly. Brilliant. And the next one. Likoi. Brilliant. And the last one. Kuria. Kuria. Exactly. Brilliant. Well done. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. All right. Uh, let's just move on. So now. Uh, We'll have a look at a few more examples and practice reciting uh, these words and phrases. We'll start with the example of the the Hadith on the Bow. Could I please have another student, please? Yes. Um, I think I need L two seven one. Yeah, Jazakallah. Uh, L two seven one. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Would you like to recite um, the bottom box, please? Mm -hmm. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نشاء good well done and the next one جزاؤه okay is there something in particular that we need to pay attention in the second box yeah I think I did a desire too short maybe okay would you like to recite again yes Jazauhu. Okay, so as we can see, yes, the prolonging on uh, za was okay, it was fine, but we do have an inverted dhamma on who. So we need to prolong how many seconds? Uh, two seconds. Exactly, brilliant. Would you like to try this one again? Mm -hmm. Jazauhu. Perfect, really good. Now you can do the third box as well. Yes, so it's just the mm -hmm. only for uh, one second. The fatas here and also the dhamma, just for one second. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
done. Really good. And the next one. Nabau. Brilliant. And the next. Asu'afa'u. Okay. At the, at the end here, I thought that you have prolonged for two seconds. Would you like to try again? Only one second on the Hamza because it's just a normal Dhamma. Mm -hmm. on the, so let's try this one again. Asu'afa'u. Brilliant. Really good. And the last one. Yadra'u. Okay. Can you please tell me the rules um, of the tweet that you paid attention at when reciting this phrase? So, um, again, I, I'm not too sure about the rules sometimes. I get mixed up on the, um, like the actual names of the rules. But I know that um, the alif at the end, um, because it doesn't have anything um, on it, um, you are not supposed to... Um, pronounce it or like elongate anything because of it um then the ra is um thick um and then the dal is um uh going to be with uh uh calcula. exactly well done yeah that's all correct well done Jazakla. okay could we now please unmute another student for the next practice Yes, so I will unmute um, L281. Asanka. Make sure that you don't have any other noise uh, like. Sorry, can you just give me a minute? Sorry about that. Um, should I, in the meantime, give the other student? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. I will give you L282. Exactly. L282. Assalamu alaikum. L282. Assalamu alaikum. Um, would you like to recite um, the last row here, the bottom one, please? Auzu billahi mini shaitani rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, before we start um, practicing on these ones here, can I just quickly go on to the ta'awuz? Um, so it's minash, we've got a fata on the nose. It will be Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Minash. So, would you like to recite this one again, please? Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Yeah. So, uh, we have to practice on the this part, please, because it's Minash Shaitan. It's uh, Shaitan. So we have a fatta here. If you could please go back and practice on the dawus as well. Now let's go back onto our row here on the practice. Would you just like the last row here, please? Al bariu. Yes, that's fine. Could you please recite the bottom row, which is e e e ya istai. Would you like to recite again, please? Okay. And what's the uh, what do you need to pay attention at here in this box? Uh, is a leaf uh mud uh, mud sorry mud Yes, here we've got the big mud, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah uh thick No, no no no. So first of all, we have a yamada here, e. So we need to. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then definitely five to six seconds here because we've got the big mud. And then okay. here we have the hamza on the ya. The, the hamza. Is it 
um, Gasra, so we pronounce E. These are the rules. E. Yeah. Do you like to recite on? Uh, na -i. Yes, and on which? Uh, hi -yi. Hi -yi. Hi -yi. Yes. Yun -chi -yu. Yun -chi -yu. Yes. So again, what do you do here? On the normal, what would you do? Uh, nasal song. Sorry, sorry. Nasal song. Yeah, you have to pronounce with a nasal sound because we have to do if uh, yun -shi -yu. Yeah. Yun Yun -shi -yu. So we don't pronounce the noun, we have that in a nasal sound. We do pronounce the guna. Yun shi u. Yes. Yun shi u. Okay. Yu hai yi. Well done. Brilliant. Shazakala. Shazakala. Okay, now uh, let's move on. So, perfect. Uh, we will have now a bit of practice on some combined examples and see how we progress on. Uh, could the support teacher please unmute another student, please? Yes, I will unmute L two eight one. L2 it. Asanka? Um, okay. So, yeah, we are back now. I'll take one. Could you please recite the first row? Okay. A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ma umiru ila. Okay, so let's have a look here. What did you do? Um, I didn't pro prolong the vowel because it had a madis sagir on it. Exactly, so we need to prolong it. And I heard a bit of a hamza sound in between. So no hamza, it's a simple vowel madda. So just for, uh, no, it's not vowel madda actually, it's madis sagira on the top. Um, so we do prolong it for about four seconds. Um, would you like to recite this one again? Okay. Ma umiru ila. Okay. So here we have a um, shadda. So we need to connect. Illa. Illa. Yes, it's not illa. It's illa. Okay. Would you like to recite this one again, please? Okay. Ma umiru illa. Well done. Brilliant. And the next one, please. Allah sa. Okay. So we don't have any uh, hyphen on either of these letters, and we call them. You would. Uh, you would see them at the beginning of a surah. Um, some of them, they, some of the surah, they do start with haruf muqtad, like alif lam mim, um, or this one here, or yasin. So let's practice reciting this one here. So that one would be a'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim alif lam mim sad. Shall I recite it? Yes, please. Brilliant. Very good. And the next box. Well done. And the last box, please. Okay. So, no, we, again, on last Monday, remember we had a practice on a rule. We had a blank alif. So here yes. we blank alif again. We don't uh, pronounce this one because at the beginning we have a mutaharik hamza. 
uh, so we have a mutahharik letter here, and then we have a letter with a sakoon. So we need to connect them, ignoring the alif in between. Okay. Al ana. Mm, try again. Al ana. So we do have a uh, mud. Uh, one here. Well, oh, so, so do, I, do I pronounce al for like six seconds, five seconds? Five to six seconds, yeah. And this word actually only appears twice in the Holy Quran in Surah Yunus, actually. So this one would be A'uzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Al Oh, sorry. Yes, much better. Okay, so yeah, as I said, we can obviously go back always and look out for practicing um, through the documents um, online where you can open up uh, the worksheets and practice as much as you can. I will go on to the practicing part. If I would like to, um, could we please have the teaching assistant now? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Okay, yes. Um, so I hope everyone's well. And uh, I would like to start with the, um, I think I'm going to try and share my screen for this. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, that's brilliant. Yes, okay, good. It's just easier to um, to do the whole session that way. Um, so I'd like to ask the support teacher to kindly um, unmute the first student for this. Yes, uh, I'm unmuting uh, LT83. I'm sorry, what was the ID? L283. L two eight two. Okay, yeah. Two eight three. Oh, two eight. I see. Assalamualaikum. L two eight three. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, great. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, um, so please start with the others and Desmia, and let's just for now read this first. Um, this first I uh, verse. Okay, after this I mean. Okay, try and pronounce this ha, okay? Bismillah, hir rahma. Not bismillah, ir rahma. Bismillah, hir rahma, ni rahim. Okay. Bismillah, ir rahma, ni rahim. Yeah, can you try that again? So, the, do you know which one I mean? Is this ha that comes after the letter lam? Okay. This one, um, right here. I don't know why I'm not able to um, mark it. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Okay, that was beautiful. Well done. Okay, so you can start with the next one, please. Alhamdulillah, Lazi Anzala. Anzala ala abdi hil ki taba walam abdi hil ki taba walam yaj allahu ivaja. Okay, good. That was um excellent effort. Well done. Um, so let's go over this a little bit um and look at it a little bit closer. Um, so you can see that there is uh, a little wave up here. Do you remember the name for this? Yeah, Matasagi. Excellent. And how long should we be prolonging that for? Four to, six, four to five. Yeah, so roughly about three to five seconds. I mean, it depends on the, um, the way that you're reciting and the speed that you're reciting. But this is the one that you prolong a little bit um, less than the Mad Kavi. Um, and yeah, well done. So this one was not long enough, I think. Um, okay. And then with, uh, I think you said Anzala. With he, uh, with this one, as you can see, it's got a noon with a sukun. It's a noon sakin. And it's followed by a za, the letter za. So what you need to do is you need to um, make a nasal sound on this one. 
Um, so, Alhamdulillah, Illadi Anzala. Can you read it up here, please? Okay. Yeah. Al Alhamdulillah, Illadi Anzala. Yeah, can you try one more time, please? I couldn't hear it properly. Alhamdulillah, sorry. Alhamdulillah, Hillazi Anzala. Okay, so this needs to be longer. Alladhi Alladhi Excellent, and this one, you need to make a nasal sound for this. So instead of saying Anzala, try, try saying Anzala. Anzala. Excellent, that was really good. And now I want to hear it from the beginning and remember these two things. Okay. If that works. Al Alhamdulillah, Lazi Anzala. Okay, beautiful. Well done. Um, and then for the next one, do you remember what is uh, particular about this letter right here? Kalkala. Yes, Kalkala. Well done. So you know your rules. Well done. Um, you just forgot to apply it. So how do we read this, this word? Abdihi. Make a little jumping sound on the bar. Abdihi. Ab Abdihi. Yeah, that's right. Abdihi. Abdihi. Okay, good. Well done. And what else was there? Um, what is this right here? Kalkala. That's the right. And how do we? How do? Yeah, jacking sound. And how do we read it? Yajal. Good. Yajal. Yajal. Good. So when you say the letter, I mean, when you say the sound of this jim, you, if you weren't making a kalkula sound, you would just be saying yajal. However, the sound needs to make kind of a jump. Yajal. Yajal. Okay, good. Well done. Um, and I think uh, over here on this ha, I think... I think you did not prolong it for two seconds. Um, as you can see, this little, what looks like a six, it's an inverted dhamma. Normally, dhammas are prolonged for how long? This is a dhamma. How long do we prolong that for? Two seconds. Or oh, one second. One second, that's right. However, when that's inverted and turns upside down like this, um, then it's prolonged for two seconds. So I did not hear that. I think you only did it for one second. And then the other thing was um, that you prolong this well. This won't be prolonged. Can you tell me why? It's a thick letter. So it's, no. it should be. It's not a thick letter. It won't be prolonged because, simple rule, what has it got on top? Fatha. That's right. So Fatha is only prolonged for? Two seconds. No, 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 no. Fatha on its own is only prolonged. Oh, one second, yeah. That's right. Uh, however, Fatha in combination with Alif, um, for example, um, of course, I'm not going to see it now. It's probably right in front of me somewhere. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's only prolonged if it's in combination with Alif. Um, so it's just a simple Fatha, so that's one second. So can you um, uh, say, uh, sorry, recite from here to the end, please? Walam yaj Allahu iwajan. Okay, so I think it sounded similar to what you did last time. Um, so uh, I think you did try to make a kalkula sound. However, I uh, it sounded like you've prolonged this lam. Um, this is also just a fatha. It does have a shaddashdi underneath, but it's still not prolonged. So it will be walam yaj Allahu and then instead of saying Iwaja, you say Iwaja. Can you say it? Okay, good. And this jim, um, because we are stopping here, um, even though there is a tanween, what will happen if there is a tanween and followed by this alif in the end uh, at the sentence where you're, or we are pausing, um, you only use one of the strokes. So it will turn into a, what we were just looking for, into a alif of elongation, haruf. Um, it's a mad letter, so it will be prolonged uh, for two seconds. So, iwaja. Iwaja. 
Okay, good. Well done. That was really good, mashallah. Um, so, Jazakallah, I think we can move on to the next student now. I will add L two eight five. L two eight five. Yep. Assalamualaikum. L two eight five. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. I hope I'm not having. I hope I'm not tr uh, having trouble with my connection again. Can Can you hear me? The yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay. okay, that's fine. Um, um, so we can try a different ID. Yes, I'll try a different one because uh, that one's not working. Um, I'll I need L295. Yeah, L295. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. L295. I think she's still muted. Yeah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Oh, wa alaikum salam. Uh, yeah. So sorry about that. We sometimes have a bit of trouble with the unmuting. <laughs> um, so can you hear us okay? Yeah, fine. Okay, good. All right. Um, so is everything clear so far? Yeah. All right. So if you could start with that was and then start this verse up to here, please. A'uzu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Very good. Kajimaliyun ziraba asan shadirum minal. Okay, how, how about we take it one bit at a time? Yeah. Okay, so let's read it in bits. We will do up to, uh, let's say, up to here. So you've read it up to here, and we're going to um, put, um, um, what's it called? We're going to cut it into pieces so that we can see what we need to be doing. So first of all, well done, Dawuz and Tasmiya was uh, pronounced beautifully. Um, now with this, <clears throat> I think if you can, pro uh, can you... Read up to here, and then we're going to break it up. Um, okay, good. Um, that was good. Uh, one thing, try and pronounce this uh, soft letter. The um, yunzira. Yunzira. Good. Um, I want you to also pay attention to this. Um, as you can see, there is a lamb with the shadda right here. Yeah. And that one uh, is preceded by a tanween, which is a double stroke on top of the meme. So what happens is when you get a double stroke uh, or a noon with the sukun before a lam with the shadda or a ra with the shadda, only those two letters, then you don't make any nasal sound and you go straight from the letter that's before them straight to the lam or shadda or ra or shadda. Um, so yeah, Mali. That's right. Exactly. Well done. And the reason is because we um, we won't be making a nasal sound. We usually um, imagine that there is only one stroke on top of this um, instead of two on the tanween. The tanween is made up. Um, even though there's two, we imagine there's only one in this case when there's a lam or ramashadat. Have I made that too complicated, or is that clear? No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So qal Mali. Can you say Mali. Good. And then here we will uh, make a nasal sound because uh, it's it's got a noon with the sukun. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we'll be saying Lyon uh, Zira. Lyon Zira. Yeah. Try and make it a nasal sound. So sh there should be a difference between Lyon Zira and Lyon Zira. Lyon Zira. That was that was better. Well done. And uh, how about we read up to here now? So can you read up to here? Okay. Um, okay. So this is. It might look like a ra. It's actually a dal. These are both dal letters. Okay. So shadida. shadida. Okay. Do you know why I said shadida here? Because you stopped or yeah, the yeah. lift? Yeah, that's right. So we've stopped. Um, and if there is an alif or if there is a um, 
a double stroke like here um, it, we only use one of these strokes and the other one um, turns into this alif I guess even if there wasn't an alif we would have still done it um, I'm sorry I think you might be able to hear my son in the background yeah. <laughs> so um, okay good well done um, so when we're going to carry on reading, then we are um, obviously not going to start. Yeah, so we're going to um, merge this. Uh, we're going to, I'm lost for words today. I think I'm a bit distracted. Sorry, just bear with me. Um, so we're going to um, obviously carry on reading and we will not split up this then we like we did when we paused. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go straight from the dal to the meme. And what's special about this meme? Can you tell me? Um you have to do nasal sound. Yeah, that's right. So, Wuna, we're going to do a nasal sound. And do you know why? Because it's got the shut. It's got the shut. Yeah, shut. Yeah, the speed. That's right. I think you're really good. You've learned your rules, and I'm really, I'm really happy about that, Mashallah. I did. Um, I did a course about before as well. Oh wow, that's really good, Mashallah. I think that's excellent. That's really helpful. Um, so if you um, <clears throat> do the two seconds on this meme because it's got a shadda on top, and what's the other letter that we do that for? Noon. That's and right. Noon and meme. That's right. Um, so can you read this? This please, the yellow bit. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. I think I haven't actually shadid them. Uh, how about up to here? Okay. Um, Shadidam min miladun. Okay, good. That was really good because you remembered what I said about the tanween uh, and then that being followed by a lam mushaddad. <clears throat> and so it doesn't have to be a tanween, it can also be a noon with a sukun like here. So what happens, we will uh, ignore it and go straight from this letter to the lam. Milla. Not milla, we'll say milla. That was really good. And here, um, I want you to um, not make a nasal sound. We need to say the noon because it is um, followed by a ha letter. So when that happens, there are um, a couple of letters that we've learned about. When that happens, I think there are six letters actually. Alif um, and Hamza, they kind of count as one. And then ha, ha, um, ha, ha. Uh, if they are um, uh, followed, these are the is hard letters, then you have to do is hard on the letter with the sukun. So in this case, it's okay. known. Miladun who? Miladun. Miladun who? Yeah. So Milla. Remember that we will yeah. not. Miladun who? Yeah. So Miladun who? Milla Dunhu. Good, well done. And can you read uh, from here up to uh, here? I'm oh, sorry, this didn't get. Okay, yeah, so all this. Okay. Were you Bashi Ral Okay, good, that was really good. And can you ca carry on from uh, Al Mu'minina? Uh, up to let me make this smaller. Al Mu'minin al Ladina. Up to here, please. Al Mu'minin al Ladina Yamaluna. Okay, so this is a fatha. Remember to say Ya Yamaluna, not Yu. Yamaluna. And uh, this one is a Hamza. Say al mu'minina. Al mu'minina. Yeah, so make the hamza sounds exactly like an alif. So al mu'minina. Al mu'minina. Okay, good. And uh, up to here, please. Asa. Asa lihati anna lahum. Okay, good. Anna lahum. That's Anna lahum. Good. The two seconds on the noon. That was really good. And then we can finish off here. Ajaran, ajara, hasana. 
Okay, so we're going to break that up. So you did the calcula. Very good. Well done. Um, uh, what did you say here? Adir, adira, hasana. Adira, it would be correct if you were going to pause here. However, we don't need to pause. It's a very short breath that we're needing here. So adiran, and then what do we say here? Hasa, hasana. That's right. Adiran, hasana. Ajaran Hasana. Okay, good. Well done. So you know your rules and you know them really well. You just need to implement them now. That's your next stage, okay? All right. Jazakallah. So we can move on to the next student, please. I will unmute L207. L207, did you say? Uh, 307. Oh, I see. L307. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. I don't think mm, she. Yeah, it's not working. It's not working. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can uh, anyone? Uh, L208. Yep. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Um, so L three zero eight. I would like you to start reading. Um, start with Dahud and Tasmiya, and then this is quite a short one, so you might as well do the next one as well. And um, just before you start, I think I said at the beginning of these classes that we are not. Um, we can't uh, start a um, verse with a um, shadda, and then we were starting from the letter uh, from the word before. However, I've now realized, um, as, uh, I, I learned that you can actually start. What you do is, if, you have, if there is a letter that's starting at the, at the front of the um, sentence, at the beginning of the verse, with the tashdeed, then what you do is you just leave the tashdeed out and you just um, read it without. But you can actually start reading from that. So just to let okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما كثين فيه أبدا. Beautiful. And the next one. وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا. Mashallah. That was really good. Um, and I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Do you mind just reading? Oh, it's a bit long, that one. Um, that was really nice, actually. Uh, do you mind reading up to here, please? Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Okay, here. مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ وَلَا لِآبَائِهِمْ Okay, that was good. Um, one thing that you need to remember is when there is a meme that's followed by a bar, yeah. a meme with the sukun that's followed by a bar, then you have to make a nasal sound for this. مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ For two seconds. Okay. Okay, good. Um, you really know your stuff. Well done. Um, a little bit more energy next time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well done. That was really good. I think we might have um, maybe a little half a minute left. Maybe we can try one more student, please. Jazakallah to this one. Yes, uh, let's do this one. Uh, Okay, we have L309. L309, yep. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So you are the last one for the practice for today. Please start with the Abuz and Desmiya. If you could kindly finish um, this verse that was just started. Okay. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kaburat kalimatan tahrujun min awfa afwahihim. Very good. 
Okay, so this one you need to make a nasal sound for And uh, I, did you prolong that for two seconds? Okay, good. That was really good, mashallah. Well done. Um, I would love to hear more from you because you have a really good beloved as well. But we have actually come to the bit where I hand over. Um, so jazakallah to all of you. And inshallah, I'll speak to you next week. And I'm going to hand over to the main teacher for today. Um, if you could, uh, do you want to take over and you can share your screen? Yes, yeah, exactly. So we'll continue from here. Um, okay. <clears throat> so we are now to the end um, of the class. Uh, I'll quickly recap uh, what we've learned today before we. Um, sorry, can I just interrupt? Your voice isn't as loud and clear as it was at the beginning of the class. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, it's better. It's better. Oh, right, so yes, yeah, so we are now towards the end of the class. Before we finish off, I'll just quickly recap what we've learned today before we end today's lesson. So we noted that it's not appropriate to pause in the middle of a word or phrase, but in case that would happen, then we should start again from the beginning of the phrase uh, where we can catch up on the context of the meaning too. Uh, then we've learned today that a Hamza with a stroke uh, appears on a vowel or ya, um, then we then the vowel and ya are ignored altogether and we read the mutaharik hamza instead. Now you can of course go back to the worksheets uh, on the website and the class recordings on YouTube uh, in order to keep up with your revision and uh, practice all the rules in your free time uh, inshallah. Uh, now before um, we completely finish our class could I please request the support teacher to quickly unmute one student, please? Yes, all right. I've unmuted L208. Yes, yeah. okay. Um, L208, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Okay, so can you quickly tell me uh, the rules of a raw? Are there any particular rules for the letter Ra? Um, I know for Ra you have to make it sound like a thick letter when it's uh, with a Fata or a Dhamma. And with the, when it's a Kasra, it's, a, it's not a thick sound. Yes, so it will be pronounced with a thin sound, exactly, yes. And could you also tell me uh, the rules of Kalkala? Yeah, so Kalkala is a jerking sound um, where you, with the letters Gwaf, Da, Be, Ba, Jim, Dal. There's three types of Kalkala, soft, moderate and hard. All right. Um, okay. So Gwaf, Da, Ba, Jim, Dal. These are the letters of Kalkala. All right. So what do you do then? So when... Um, you make a jerking sound, Softing, soft jerk would be in the middle of the word and you would make a soft jerk sound when it, um, when there's a, a I think, jazam on it. And um, when it's at the end, towards the end of the word, you make a moderate jerk, <coughs> jerking sound. And uh, when it, it's with the shadda and at the end of the word, you make a hard jerking sound. Okay, that's brilliant. Good. And um, could you please also tell me um, the letter uh, Noon uh, Mushaddad? Is there anything in particular that we need to pay attention when Noon Mushaddad appears? Uh, yeah, Noon Mushaddad, uh, you have to prolong it for two seconds. Yeah. Um, how how do I pronounce the normal should the uh, two seconds? The window. 
So Noon Mushaddad will be pronounced with Ghunna for three seconds. Yeah, with Ghunna. That's brilliant. Really good. Yes, brilliant. Well done. So, of course, you can go back and revise on. Uh, so for now, uh, Jazak Nulla to all students and also the teaching team for joining this class today. Jazak Nulla. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.